Hi guys, welcome back to Red Dog Gaming, where today we're bringing you another RTR Imperium Serectum video on the brand new version 0.5 update, a brand new unit roster guide with Bactria guys, one of the most interesting nations that are part of this glorious mod. I love Bactria, very, very interesting nation in terms of its culture, its history, its positioning, of course. Very, very cool indeed. And we're going to be going through some of these glorious new units today, guys. So, without further ado, let's get onto that battlefield. Here we are, guys, once again with the glorious Bactrian roster arrayed in front of us. And remember, guys, this roster has been fully redone to represent Bactria. Previously, it was basically a slimmed down Seleucid roster with a lot of AOR units. We have got some AOR units on the battlefield today, which we'll go through at the end of this unit roster guide. But this brand new roster has been made to better represent the Bactrians. Most of these new units are the Katoikoi, the Greek settlers to Bactria, which the Seleucids and the Bactrians really invested in, creating new colonies, new cities, all around Bactria and trying to fill them with Greek settlers. However, if you know anything about Bactrian history, that didn't fully work, I would say, and these Greek minorities became smaller and smaller and smaller until Bactria and the Seleucids kind of fell apart in the region. So, without further ado, guys, let's get into the Thorakitai. We've seen these guys before, but look at their glorious, glorious Bactrian sort of shields and armor. And we can see the standard, not the standard, the, the pretty, um, uh, the Bactrian helmet that many, many people associate with Bactria. What exactly its, its name is in Greek, I'm not sure. But you can see it there, and it looks beautiful with a lot of detail on it. And there's actually some of these helmets have some serious amounts of detail on. You can see this one over here, fantastic amount of detail. But the blue's really shining through with the Bactrian roster all throughout, guys. Just to show you that it's Bactria, of course. But the Thorakitai, very, very good early game unit. Heavy infantry, 31 defense, 15 morale, pretty decent. 13 melee attack, and two javis that will fire 15 uh, missile damage javis, which are pretty decent. That's pretty strong. The shields just look awesome, don't they, arrayed down here. The big swords ready to go. One thing to note with these guys that actually tips them over, from my opinion, from a mid-tier to a good um, early game unit is that they're fast moving. So even though they're a heavy infantry, these guys are fast moving moving guys very 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 nice to see fast moving heavy infantry with all their armor they should if they have better stamina than say a greek slingers they should be able to catch them i believe uh, a fast moving heavy infantry unit then very useful for flanking so a decent decent uh, early game unit for you there then we move on to the bactrian hoplites and you can see once again, looking glorious with the glorious shields of Bactria and the different helms and all that sort of thing. Now you can see 36 defense, so a bit more than the Thorakitai, of course. But their morale and their uh, their morale is not quite as good. 13 morale, 13 melee attack, which is the same as the Thorakitai, of course. But you don't get the advantage of the Javi. However, they are spearmen, so they're going to do better against cavalry. Than the Thorakitai, for example. So, a solid early game unit that you're going to be using a lot. And once again, they look stunning, as we've seen many times before. Now, of course, the Thoriopiroi. The Thoriopiroi. 35 defense. Very good defense. 13 morale. 12 melee attack. A couple of javis to throw. So, a little bit better, uh, better defense than the Thorakitai, for example. However, not as good morale and not as good melee attack. So... For me, I would be recruiting the Thorakitai over the Thoroporoi if you do get the chance. However, again, they look fantastic. L glorious helms on. A few plumes here and there, as we can see. Nice bit of plumage there on the front. Fantastic. But of course, they are spearmen, so they're going to do well against cavalry compared to the Thorakitai. But a really decent unit. 
Uh, really good early game unit there for you. 35 defense. Very nice to see indeed. And those Javis always do a little bit of damage. Um, so good unit. Good unit. And one thing to note, guys. I'm trying to just trying to. I'm going back to the Thorakitai again. But that fast moving is really important because the enemies that you're going to be fighting as Bactria will have horse archers, will have fast moving light infantry and archers aplenty like Parthia and the Saka Ruka, um, as well as the rebels around your Bactrian region. So fast moving actually for these guys is quite important. It's a really, really, really decent stat to have. And then we have the bronze shields, the Chalka Speeders guys. The standard pike unit for your Bactrian armies. Very nice to see these guys. They um, have 36 defense, 18 melee attack. Very cool. 15 morale. Very decent indeed. A very good level phalanx unit that will hold the line very strongly against other phalanxes and plenty of other units. I believe these guys come after the reforms, so you do need to get your reforms first before you get these Chalka Speeders. But again, look at these guys. They just look stunning, and we've seen them many times before. Of course, the blues, again, are plenty because it is Bactria. Look, the details are just obscene in this mod, guys. The little details, and they all add up to make every single unit look fantastic. But yeah, a really good level pikeman, mid-tier pikeman there. Now we move on to your royal guard. Your really, really strong elite infantry, guys. Very strong elite infantry. We've got the epigeno. Ah, God. Uh, Epigonoi hippastists. So, these guys, 17 morale. Very nice. 37 defense. Very good. 15 melee attack. 14 alt attack. Very good to see indeed. Very, very decent stats for a, just a standard Spearman unit. And look at these guys. They look mean. They look ready to go with the, um, the silver breastplate there. Uh, the iron breastplate. And the glorious helms that we can see on offer here. I mean, look at this one. Just look at the details that have gone into making that specific helm, guys. It's just crazy. The crossbar on the plume. Like, it's just crazy the amount of detail that's gone into these little, little parts of each uniform. Fantastic. Look at that. And the little dot on top as well. Very nice to see. But these guys, a very strong Spearman unit. They're going to do a lot of damage and stay in the fight for very long. So when you can get these guys, get them recruited. However, if you do have the option of these boys, look at them. Look at these glorious phalangites. Oh, glorious. Fantastic to see. These shields are just so cool. Look at that one. They just look so good. So good. Fantastic. Oh, we've got a double plumage back there. Very nice. And of course, they've got the plumes. They've got the capes. We know they're elite. But a really, really strong unit, this guy's. 18 morale. 43 whole defense. 28 of which is defense skill, but they still have 15 defense against missiles with 9 armor and 6 shield. Obviously, you do not want to get them outside of Phalan uh, Phalan Phalanx formation because that alt attack of 11 is not good. But that 18 morale and 18 melee attack in Phalanx formation, they are fantastic, fantastic unit, guys. So, glorious, the Epigonoi. They're the royal guard of Bactria. Now, onto the missile boyos. Um, of course, we've seen many of these guys before, so we'll go through them relatively quickly. The Greek Slingers, again, your lowest tier of unit. Pretty much your trashest unit that you can get. But uh, if you need them to do a job defending a city, for example, or firing, you know, 32 of their 7 missile attack missiles into the enemy, they will do some damage. Like, all missile units, all archers and slingers at least, will do decent damage if they don't get into melee and they fire off all their arrows or, in the case of the slingers, little stones, I guess. <laughs> but you can see the detail once again on these guys. They've got the little bum bag full of stones, ready to go. Um, and then we come on to the Greek archers again. The detail on some of these guys. Some cool different racing stripes down their robes, as we can see. The different hats uh, that they're wearing. But again, they do look 
like they have one armor because it's true they have one armor they don't have much armor at all for morale again so these guys will rout at the sniff of the enemy being nearby six melee attack 10 missile attack for 30 ammo though these guys will do decent damage as an archer unit a really decent archer unit however you probably want to recruit your Persian archers because they are a better archer unit than these guys, although we don't have them on here. They're one of your AOR units. Recruit those guys instead of the Greek archers and you'll probably be doing a little bit more damage. Now we have the Akontistai, again the blues shining through on these bows, looking very nice indeed with the different hats and everything, but your standard Javi unit. Six morale, not brilliant. Twelve defense, not brilliant. Six melee attack, pretty trash. Nine missile attack for seven javis, though. Decent, and will do a decent amount of damage if you let them throw all their javis. But if you can, get these Greek Peltas guys. 20 defense, so they're not going to die instantly. 15 of which, however, is defense skill. You can see they've got two armor because some of them are wearing these helms. Not much other armor to go on their body, but three shield as well. So five defense, again, missile attack. So that's going to stop them dying a little bit. To missile fire but again nine missile attack for seven javis is really good again so they're going to do some decent damage um if you like your javi boys now on to the glorious cavalry guys and i'm so excited to bring you one of these units oh yes i cannot wait to show it to you but we've got a little bit of a wait before then so we've got a few units to go through first of course we have the bactrian general's bodyguard looking stunning fantastic Looking absolutely excellent with the blues shining through once again. Very nice to see. You can see these different sort of um, tinges on the capes as well, which is really cool. Uh, but these guys, very strong, of course, because they're a general's bodyguard. 57 charge. Fantastic. 34 defense. 21 morale. 16 melee attack. Very, very strong unit. But of course, you only get 25 depending on what uh, level of faction guy that's leading these guys that made sense didn't it what level the general is that's leading these guys if they're not a faction leader or faction area they will be 25 guys plus their retinue but fantastic unit very nice to see now we have the reformed bactrian general's bodyguard and you can see these guys are pretty much cataphracts Absolute shadows with their big <laughs> helms on. The face helms. Very nice to see. And the scaled armor down those arms. Awesome, awesome looking unit. Very cool. Very cool. Look at all the detail on this horse's uh, bit of armor on the front there. Very, very, very nice indeed. Of course, these guys wearing the capes as usual. The yellow and purple. Very cool. With the plumage going on as well. 35 defense, 63 charge, guys. 21 morale, 16 melee attack, 15 alt attack. There's not a huge difference. They just have a lot, a bit more charge and a bit more armor as well as a better alt attack. So just a better all-round general's bodyguard looking awesome as well. Fantastic to see. Then we have the Prodromoi, guys. You're pretty, your worst cavalry unit. Your pretty trash cavalry unit. Um, that doesn't do a huge amount of damage unless you can get it to fire off all its missiles. Do not use these guys in melee. Use these guys in melee unless you absolutely have to. And they've got rid of all their javis. Twenty-seven charge is not amazing, but it's okay. But that melee attack of ten and morale of nine means that they will rout very quickly. So if you're going to charge them in, do charge them in, but get them out straight away. Otherwise, they're going to be running, guys. They're going to be running away from the battle with their tail between their legs. Now we come on to the Zistaphoroi, your pre-reform heavy cavalry unit. 16 morale, so a lot better morale than the Progeroi. 13 melee attack, which is okay. 38 charge, which is pretty decent. 24 defense, which is reasonably low uh, for a heavy cavalry unit. So, good charge. Again, not a huge amount of defense. So... Charge these guys in and get them out as well. I would not say leave these guys in the fight for very long because of that low defense. And the thing with cavalry guys is because they're cavalry, they have such a larger hitbox. So defense is so key with cavalry because once you charge them in, they're going to get attacks from several different angles. Unlike an infantry where the hitbox is a lot smaller, as we can see, it's a lot smaller unit. Um, 
then when you charge these guys in and leave them in the fight, they're going to be falling reasonably quickly with that low defense. So, charge them in. That's what they're strong at. And they've got good morale, so they'll be able to withstand doing a lot of charges in the battle without routing, guys. So charge them in and get them back out. But again, they're looking fantastic. We've not seen this type of helmet yet. That looks awesome with the black and the red there. Very cool. Almost sort of menacing, that helmet. It's very cool indeed. Right, guys. Let's come on to the boyos. The real boyos. The Bactrian Boyos, one of the most unique units in the game, I've got to say. I've got to say, guys, very, very cool unit. Very strong indeed as well. And they look just glorious, don't they? They look fantastic. Your Royal Cavalry, your Bactrian Hetairoi, very, very strong unit. Obviously only available after the reforms, I believe. Uh, but a strong unit nonetheless. And the reason why they're so strong, guys, is they're pretty strong in melee. <laughs> Look at their stats. 18 morale, 14 melee attack, 41 charge with 29 defense. Very strong in melee. Very nice to see. Going to do some serious damage on that charge. But, as you can see, guys, they're holding bows right now. They will do... 14 missile attack for 35 missiles with 130 missile range as a horse archer unit as well. Just glorious. <laughs> I don't know what to say. It's just glorious. These guys are going to be unbelievably strong, guys. And they're really, really needed, especially when you're going to be fighting many horse archer nations around you. Namely, Parthia and Sarka. So, yeah, you are going to need these guys eventually, so get them. And that 11 armor is going to be decent against missile attacks as well. So, they're going to do really well. These guys are glorious. They are so good. They're a fantastic unit, guys. And they look glorious as well. Now, on to the other secret weapon that the Bactrians have. The Bactrian Cataphracts. <gasps> the chads of the battlefield. The tanks of the battlefield. And once again, they look fantastic. Look at this guy. He is just stunning. The gold beard, silver, and the glorious scales down the arm. Very nice to see. Of course, these guys are incredibly strong, like we've seen before. 63 charge, 39 defense, 19 of which is armor. 20 morale, frighten nearby enemies, 15 melee attack absolutely glorious unit gonna shred enemies to pieces boys they will just run through units like there's no tomorrow just checking these heteroi no they don't frighten nearby enemy but these guys do the cataphracts glorious glorious unit guys absolutely stunning right guys let's have a look at a couple of the aru aor units just to show you what you're going to get access to early game. So we have this Sparabara, the Persian Sparabara. 35 defense, 15 morale, 13 melee attack. Pretty similar then to your Theroperoi. So you can either get these or you can get your Theroperoi, depending on the culture, culture requirements and your construction in a, uh, a city. But they have these glorious huge shields. Look how big those shields are. They're a pretty decent spearman unit. They'll hold the line for a reasonable amount of time. But we also have the Mer Mercenary Persian Takabara. Yeah, Mercenary Persian Takabara. 23 defense, so not a huge amount of defense. However, armor-piercing secondary weapon, and I believe when it refers to the secondary weapon, because they use missile weapon before charging, that it refers to the melee attack of their axe. I believe their axes are armor-piercing. Very cool indeed. So 30 melee attacks actually very strong for these guys. So they're a lot stronger than you think. So don't be scared of their low defense and low armor. 17 defense skills, plenty. And they're going to do decent damage against armored units. So send these guys in to the battle to fight the enemy, the armored enemy units. And when they are done, you can send in your more elite infantry to clean them up. And of course, we come on to some of the horse archers. The three different horse archer variants available. These are the most elite ones that you can get. The Uazi 
cataphracts, guys. 18 morale, 13 melee attack, 14 missile attack with 36 um, uh, 36 arrows, 30 full defense, 16 armor, and 60 charge, guys. Very strong a cataphract horse archer unit. Very cool indeed. They will be a little bit slow because of their masses of armor, but a very strong unit in melee and with a horse archer. The one thing that you've got to note, though, guys, you probably will end up recruiting this Heterai more than your AOR units because, of course, the AOR units are only available for recruiting in certain regions, whereas the Heteroi will be available wherever you have the uh, the right barracks, the right cavalry stables, and the right culture requirements. So, on to the elephants, of course. We've got the mercenary Indian elephants, the Bactrian elephants ready to go. And we've got the Bactrian boys stood on the back of them. Of course, these guys, very strong. 13 defense, but 8 hit points. Their special attack. And, of course, they have bows and arrows on top. But that's not why you have elephants, is it, guys? Anyway, let us get into the glorious battle. And if you don't want to watch the battle, absolutely fine, guys. But... Um, I would really, really enjoy it if you could give this video a like and a subscribe. That would be amazing. Thank you very much to everyone who's watched up to now. And uh, if you want to stick around for the battle, you can do, of course. Glorious. Right, let's get our boys forward. And let's use our Heteroi to start harrying the enemy. As well as these boyos. Now, the Epirates do have a lot of cavalry, as you can see. We've got a huge amount of cav. Oh, wait, where did we send you? You're coming here then. Make sure everyone is on fire at will who needs to be. Yep, and we'll use you guys to uh, harry the enemy as well. Kind of don't really want to be in this dip. Are you guys on fire at will? Yes, you are. Glorious. Thinking we come like here potentially. And then you phalangites. I want you to come up here. Get there. Heteroi, let's go. Where are those horse archers? There they are. Glorious. Fire at the enemy. Fire at the enemy. They're going to fire at us, so fire at them back. Look at the amount of cav they've got down this side. Got that Thorakitai are going to get into the Molossian Agama. Oh, God, no. They're a fantastic unit. And they already broke our boyos. Look at the Molossian Ag Agama go. We can see how strong those boys are. Ah, oh, we've messed this up. We've messed this up, boys. Getting shredded. There we are. Let's get in there. Right, we need to use our cavalry to our advantage now. Let's go into them. It's the only way we're going to survive this. Yeah, get going. Right, we're going to have to get the Ellies in. Get into that Prodromoy, if you can. Sparabara, let's go. You guys there. Get the cavalry round here. Where's the Heteroi? Oh, they're getting chased. I think we go. Get into the Epirate Bodyguard. Let's go, boys, then. I'm thinking... What's this? The Greek Hoplites. No, we don't want to charge them, do we? Let's get into them. Prodromoy over here. Go. Sister Four are broken now. Fantastic. They've got the Agama in the battle now. Let's go. Let's go, Ellie's. Persian Sparabara. Let's go. Get them through. This is going to be a tough battle, guys. Tougher than uh, what I was expecting, honestly. Right, Prodromoy, I'm going to have to get you into the fight. I know we said we're not supposed to charge them. Just to try and break these guys. They're just still just shaking, though. Thamian Peltasts, they're a decent unit. The Heteroi have won out. Very good, my boys. Let's get forward. The Ellies are coming as well. The Ellies are a coming, boys. They just got Javid, which is never good to see. Right. Right, boys. In the back of these boys. Let's go. Cavalry will come. We need the cataphracts on the front line, really. But the general's bodyguard's good enough. They've got a good enough charge. Come on, boys. 
Into the back. Okay, that charge was never amazing. Don't really want to get stuck there. Let's go through, boys. Let's get the Ellies in here. Okay, we're kind of a bit stuck there. You come forward, horse archers. Who are you? The Sparabara. You've done a decent job, my friends. Yeah, get some of these guys routing. Now, cavalry back into there. Yeah, you've broken these boys now. That should be a decent charge. Hopefully, we can break them. Now, back into the Hoplites. And now, I want the Ellie's in there as well. We've had some damage on this cavalry. Some serious, serious damage. At least the Cataphracts are still kind of existing. The Hoplites are about to face the Ellie's, though. Sparabar is in. Now, where are those boys? Right, let's get you round. We're going to use you for charge because you're amazing at charges as well. You're not just a pretty face. You guys get moving through. Right, Ellie's now. We need to get you out. A lot of them are covered in blood. We know they've taken a few hit points. There are a few hit points down, but they've done some decent damage. Now, you boys, halt. Get those phalanx ready to go. And now we'll get in there. Oh, he routes. He routes. The fool. The fool. Now they route as well. Fantastic. Oh, he's been crushed by the cataphracts. Awesome. They do know their doom approaches, don't they? And Epirus will die once again. Fantastic. Oh, come on the Ellies. Oh, yes. Oh, how glorious a sight to see. So anyone left then? I'm going to have to get my uh, cavalry in the fight. They've taken an absolute battering. The poor boyos. Where's me Sogdians? Not, no, the UAZ. Let's get in there. And the... Uh, the Theroperoi did a decent job as well. They did well. Well done, boys. I'm very happy with the, your performance. Kill those Greek slingers. Fantastic. Glorious victory. Well, guys, let me know what you thought of the Bactrian roster down below. And uh, hopefully the next roster that we will get access to will be Pergamon. Also, a quick note, guys, on Wednesday, we should be doing a live stream, plan to be doing a live stream with how one of the, the well, the lead developer on RTR Imperium Serectum. So... That will be awesome. Stick around for that. Should be later in the evening GMT, guys. But thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed that once again. Please do like, subscribe, all that good stuff. It really does help the channel out. And hopefully, guys, I'll see you again on the next video.